Okay, we are extremely fortunate to be joined today by Dr. Holly Sollinger. Uh, Dr. Sollinger has a, a really unique background, a lot of educational experience and corporate experience in the corporate world. Um, Dr. Holly, can you kind of explain how that came to be and a little bit about what you're doing every day? Sure, Tom. Yeah, I appreciate that introduction because not too many people realize that I'm that evenly split between the two worlds. Um, so I was born into a family of educators. Uh, my mother was a teacher. My grandparents were a teacher. My great grandparents were pioneer teachers. I mean, just it goes. And my daughter is even an educator. So I, I always say that from a genetic perspective, I had no choice. But now, at what age were you like five and six? And in it for Halloween, were you uh, a teacher or what? <laughs> How did it Not start? for Halloween, but I was teaching my dolls for sure and my teddy bears and yeah. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. Absolutely. But um, interestingly enough, my very first college degree, I chose to go the corporate route. I chose that I wanted to be a computer person. And um, that actually is what spurred this dual uh, personality that I have, this split personality, because I um, learned the technology. I started out in life as a computer programmer and a systems analyst. And yet all of my users found very quickly that they could, they could understand me. I used English as a primary language instead of geek. And they, mm -hmm. <laughs> they enjoyed hearing things from me. So whenever they wanted to be trained or had questions, they came flying to me. And that reputation continued to grow. And it finally, word finally got back to my college professors. And when they needed to have somebody come and teach uh, a particular topic they knew I was specifically good at, they called me. Wow. So that, that, ended up I was in the corporate world doing everything corporate people do and all of a sudden now I'm teaching evening classes to people just like me. Wow, especially in, in computers, right? That's oh, yeah. got to be one of the hardest things for people to understand. Yeah. And and it was real interesting. Um, I was one of the few females at that time in technology. So it was a very male oriented and uh, field. And uh, I had to learn how to traverse not only I'm a technology person, I'm a geek, let me speak in normal you know, terms. But also, I had to, to basically span that gender divide that was there at times. Yeah. And I'm sure all the men loved learning from you, right? The, acknowledging <laughs> that, that you were going to be able to teach them? We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, so talk about today now. Every, every time I see you on LinkedIn, you've got a lot of things going on. Um, that 50-50 mix, how were you spending most of your days? Yeah, that's a really good question. So my heart, I couldn't deny it for long. My heart is really as a teacher. I love, love, love. I love it when people have light bulb moments or aha moments. I love when my busy corporate people uh, tell me, oh my gosh, you just saved me tons of hours. Or you just you just help me relax. I can relax now because now I know how to do that project. And And all of that feeds me. That's my passion. Um, I love, I feel like I have a mission and my mission is help people at work have a better time at work, help them to succeed, help them to feel confident with what they're doing. And, and one, a big part of that is to help them stay relevant. Um, statistics tell us that our, our four-year degree only lasts in business and industry for about five years. And then it's wow. as if we never had a degree at all. So wow. we know that now nowadays it wasn't this way forever, but now every major company has some kind of corporate training initiative or division, or they have a learning and development division. And they know that it's important to keep their people current and keep them learning new skills. They know it helps with employee retention and it helps with employee satisfaction and it helps with productivity. It helps the bottom line. So that that's where I come in. I get to come in and, and because I'm running my business, I have my own corporation, right? Uh, I get to still do the corporate thing. I've been in the corporate world forever and a day. So I understand it but my teacher heart is very happy. So I'm able to come in and talk about topics that are in technology and professional development and in leadership and hopefully make a difference. Fantastic, and, and, and hopefully that's why a lot of our listeners are, are listening today, right? Because they want to learn. They realize that what they did yesterday they may have to do things a little bit differently tomorrow. So excellent. But, and case in point, Tom, you're right, the pandemic. Uh, because I was, I used to do all of my uh, teaching engagements, all of my facilitations, all of my trainings, all of my conference speaking in person. And I had to relearn. I had to, to what we're doing right now. I, we both had to come up on this. I mean, this wasn't like, you know, part, oh, I'll just, I remember doing that in school. We, none of us did this in school. 
So yeah. we constantly as adults have to grow and change. And you can either choose to use change in a positive way, or you can fight change. And trust me, change is going to win anyway. So go after that positive angle. Absolutely. It doesn't, doesn't do you any good to fight it. And, and I've seen um, just a, a really big difference when I talk to parents with younger kids. Yes. When, when the pandemic shut things down April, May. Yes. Terrible learning experience for, for children, right? Oh, because, my goodness. Because people really weren't prepared. But come back September and October, and I'm hearing much different stories because I'm sure our educators really dug in and figured out how they have to go and work with children in a virtual world. Yeah. Yeah. So my daughter is a fourth grade teacher in an inner city Raleigh school and uh, the spring caught her. I mean, she's a millennial and yet the spring still caught her off guard. They had no clue what to do. Mm -hmm. By the time they were back in school, she's got it. She's got it kicked, man. She, she does the virtual training better than I think she ever even did the in-person because she's determined. She's determined that her kids will not suffer because of their environment. Yeah. Well, and there's that, the passion of, a, of an educator coming out. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. 